Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the global colors feature of Oxygen. Global colors lets you edit a color in one place and have those changes take effect everywhere that color is used on your site. So for example, on this page, we're using the same blue in uh, many different places. So let's go ahead and edit the global color. So we'll click on the name of the global color and adjust. And now, as you can see, changes have taken effect everywhere that that blue is used. So now I'm going to show you how to set up global colors yourself in Oxygen. So here I have a blank page. So let's go ahead and add in some elements to the page just so we have something to work with. I'll add a heading, columns, and then I'll add in an icon box. Let's have three icon boxes. And just so it looks good, center and add some space. And now let's set up the colors. So the first thing I want to do is set the color for the icon. So I'll click on the icon and choose a color using the color picker. Let's go ahead and make this a nice blue. And now to make this blue a global color, we'll click the globe icon on the right side of the color input box and enter a name for our global color. So I'll call this brand primary and add the color. And now I can reuse this color elsewhere. So to assign it to this icon, I click the icon, open the color picker, and that global color will appear under global colors below the color picker. Make the heading use it too. And now if I want to edit this color, I'll simply click on the name of the color and edit the color. And edits made to this color take effect everywhere that the color is used. Um, let's add another color. So I'll go ahead and add in a button. Let's drag this down and I'll add in a section. Okay, let's set the button's color to be, let's say a brand accent color. So what goes good with purple? Let's go with say a green like this. I'll call this brand accent. Let's set that as the background color of this section here. So go background color. And the global colors just appear in a list below the color picker. I'll choose that color. And there we go. Now we are using global colors. You can also find all of the global colors on the site by going to Manage, Settings, Global Styles, Colors. And you'll see all your color sets here. Global colors is the default color set where new colors go. And then you can also edit your colors from here. Okay, now let's take a look at global colors as they're used in Oxygen's design library. So on this page, I've added three elements from our dentist design set from the design library. Um, most design library elements in most places will use global colors. So if you go to manage settings, global styles, colors, the uh, colors, a color set will be created for the design set that you add elements from. Here I added elements from the dentist design set, so it's created a dentist color set. We'll click dentist, and then all the colors used by the elements you've added will appear here, and you can easily edit them from here. Of course, you can also edit them in the normal way as well by simply clicking the color and editing. Now let's say you want to remove a global color from an element. For example, let's say you want to make uh, this box a totally different color. Well, you go to the color, you click the X icon to remove the global color, and then you can just choose a color as normal. Then if you want to make the new color a global color, click the global icon, enter a name, add. Okay, that is how to use global colors with oxygen. Hopefully that saves you a ton of time. Again, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you very much for watching.